Hey guys, thank you for being patient with us. It's been a few weeks since we made a video, but we are coming back strong with this video. So make sure you smash that like button and you're subscribed to this channel like Tesla. So a few months ago, Tesla announced an update for the Model S and X that kind of cooled the speculation for the big refresh that we had all hoped for. In fact, we even made a video for it. And recently, we were given some information from an inside source who obviously wants to remain anonymous, but he has worked closely with Tesla for probably the better half of a decade now, has actually worked on some really fascinating projects that Tesla has unveiled recently, and he's given us some special information about a possible refresh, big refresh, coming to the SNX. We want to thank Road Comforts Floor Mats for supporting this channel. Road Comforts offers the highest quality custom fit Model 3 floor mats on the market. The best part is they're made of a premium and environmentally friendly elastomer that's thick, flexible, and offers large groove channels to catch debris and easily clean off. No PVC based materials or toxic smells. Check out roadcomforts.com and also find them on Amazon listed in the description below. All right, let's get back to it. So they shared with us what the potential Model S and X refresh might look like, and they also hinted at what design variants Tesla has been testing out in the Mojave Desert in the most recent months. We were told that the refresh may include a tri-motor design similar to what the next-gen Roadster would offer. So the vehicle being tested had one motor in front, which she called a micro motor, and two motors in the rear. Um, the standard and the performance variants were both being tested from what he could tell us. So the EPA rated range that was being tested was just north of 400 miles for the Model S and nearing 400 miles for the Model X. When asked if it would be a 100 kilowatt hour pack or larger, he just pointed up, saying that it would be a lighter and larger battery pack with a bit of increased performance as well. So he told us that the S and X are also expected to shed about 350 pounds in their battery weight, which would also lead to increased range as well. When we asked if the 2170 cells of the Model 3 were gonna be used in the S and X, all he would tell us was that it was an entirely new design. He wouldn't tell us which style battery was gonna be designated for them. So we don't know right now if it is new battery cell chemistry or just a new design for the existing batteries. What he did tell us for sure is that the Model S and X would now be able to finally utilize the V3 supercharging and get the full 250 kilowatt speed. So these tests were being conducted in extreme heat in parts of Death Valley, California, as well as parts of Arizona, because the battery and the motor also have a new cooling mechanism that was being tested. So if the battery and the motor redesigns actually come to market, which I personally think that they will, I think they'll also be introduced with an exterior and an interior refresh. We were told that the interior design language did indeed follow Model 3's footsteps with the Spartan interior. So we asked him when we could expect to see some of these changes and he said we could potentially expect to see them as early as Q3 of this year. And if you think about it, this timing would provide another major incentive for people to jump into an industry leading vehicle right before the US tax credit fully phases out. According to Elon Musk, part of the Fremont factory tour that it gives to its owners has actually been closed off. So we think that this is for retooling parts of the factory for the Model Y, which is expected to roll out in about a year, but perhaps it could also be for that Model X and Model S refresh. So what do you guys think about all this? Would it make you wanna hold off on potentially purchasing a Model S or X, or would you go ahead and just jump on it right now? Let us know in the comments below what you guys think about all this, or if you've heard anything else. Um, and if you haven't already, smash that like button and make sure you're subscribed to our channel. Thank you guys so much for watching.